pass sa kanilang branch dito sa Pasig kasi they have two branches. Para po sa ating segment, The Baby Talk, and we'll be talking about swimming exercises for kids, lalong-lalo na this summer. At today, makakasama po natin mula sa Bert Lusada Swim School, ang napakaganda, very talented, si Teacher Pepper. Good morning! Good morning! Hi. Good morning, everyone! Okay, very fun! and all exciting! I love your job! Thank you! I love it too! Yeah, sure! <laughs> Imagine all these kids and then teaching them what, what they love the best. No? And that yes! Is mm -hmm. So we'll be talking about uh, swimming exercises with kids. Is there really a swimming exercise with kids, especially this summer? Well, when you swim, you're actually exercising. But we have a program, it's called My Baby and Me. It's a it's swimming lessons for infants and toddlers, wherein yung parents kasama sa water. We made it that way because we feel na yung parents um, has a very big important role in that program. Kasi kids trust their parents. So having their parents in the water makes it easier for them to enjoy the lesson. So they're, while they're having fun, na natututo rin sila mag-swimming. So what do they learn in this program, in this class? They learn how to enter the pool properly, exit the pool properly, and then um, we teach them how to kick, we teach them how to hold their breath, and then we teach them how to paddle. Now you will you will ask me how how young do we start them, diba? I was telling you earlier, sa atin we start them at six months. Because you know, yung water we have to think we take into into consideration yung water temperature yung atmosphere, so, so yung surroundings, so best is six months, six months, and three years, and, and above, yeah. In your class, in your class, <laughs> uh, ano po ang usual age ng mga kids? Okay, in my class, I teach six months to 3.11 years old. Okay, Yon. Okay, so we'll talk about exercises. Teacher Pepper, what are the different exercises that's available for the kids, lalo na this year? Yes, I teach... For this age, we teach them a lot of kicking, and then we teach them a lot of back floating to prepare them for survival uh, survival swim, to teach them water safety, and then we also we also teach them uh, how to hold onto the wall. Water safety then sha, because when the child falls in, what do they do? So they they turn around onto back float. And then, pag nakabak na sila, they turn, they kick, kick, kick to the nearest wall and hold on. So, we teach younger kids that. And in a way, we teach them in a fun way. Hindi siya, hindi siya nakakatakot. Okay, siyempre may mga kids sa takot pa rin, ano, lalo-lalo na pagka pinag-uusapan ng paglangoy, no? So, what are the preparations that you do para hindi naman matakot ang mga kids na maso? Alright. Um, yung mga bata, may mga, may mga kids akong na-encounter, six months old. When six months, about one year old, takot sila. Very scared. Because when they were introduced sa water during bath time, ingat na ingat yung mga parents to hold them. Ingat na ingat na hindi mabasa yung mukha, hindi mabasa yung tenga, hindi mab yung ulo, pag pinapaliguan yung ulo, ingat na ingat. So, the child feels na there's something to be careful about when they're surrounded by water. So, when pagdating sa tubig, ang laki-laki ng body of water, na-overwhelm sila. Plus the fact na maraming sudyante, maingay. So, may mga bata na sensitive to that. What do I do? I give them, I show them toys. I don't let them participate in the class right away. So I ask the parent na, you know, to set to to move to the side and then I will do a one-on-one -on -one with them, you know, para hindi yung bata matakot kaagad uh, or hindi siya ma-overwhelm. Tapos I show them toys, simple toys lang. Tapos while my other class is going on, I will bring them slowly to my class. Tapos pag umiyak ulit siya, ilalayo ko na naman. Until masanay siya dun sa, sa buong class na nangyayari, uh, sa activity na nangyayari. To the, uh, siguro after two or three sessions, part na siya ng group. Hindi na siya takot kasi nasanay na siya na, nagig, na nakikita niya yung activity, nagagawa niya activity on the side, tapos pag ready na siya, papasok na. So how about breathing exercises? We have specific breathing exercises for them. Breathing exercises, um, we prepare them to hold their breath. Kasi, um, they didn't know how to breathe, but how to hold their breath is another thing. So uh, how do I prepare them? I have little cups 
which the parents can do at home also. Prepare your kids while they're during bath time. Pwede nilang i-prepare yung mga bata. I have little cups that they uh, that they can use. May mga holes yon sa ilalim. Now, I pour that, I, I, uh, I put that water, I, bring, I put water in it, and then I pour it over their head. So first, sa kamay, sa arms, sa shoulders. Parang shower. Yes, a shower. And then eventually over their head. The, the please lang. And then three counts, three counts, five counts, until binubuhos ako na sa tubig. So it helps na when you do it at home, uh, yung bata, hinasasani na heavy water on their face. So when they come to my, to my class, ready na sila. Mm -hmm. So sa mga parents out there, if you want your kids to have fun during summer, and if you want them to have fun in the water, enroll na kayo sa Bert Lozada Swim School. You can log on to our website, www.bertlozadaswimschool.com. Oh, yan mga kasabahay, ang dami natutunan natin, ano, from Teacher Pepper. Thank you once again. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so salamat. much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's our pleasure. Ayan, at sana maraming din tayong natutunan, mga kasabahay. Once again, I'm Nintenas para sa ating segment ng Baby Talk.